on the field, Marshawn Lynch is known to shift into what he calls beast mode. But when he's on the sidelines, Marshawn is known for eating candy. Our question is, are Marshawn's rushing skills improved by a sugar rush? First, a blood sugar test will reveal the amount of glucose or fuel for the muscles available in Marshawn's bloodstream. We have to do it in a couple of days. <laughs> All that blood. <laughs> then, we measure Marshawn's grip strength, reaction time, and speed. At rest, muscles typically store enough glucose to perform high intensity exercise for up to two and a half minutes before they fatigue. Muscles that are sugar depleted function up to 60% less efficiently. When you're doing high intensity exercise, muscle sugar stores deplete quickly. You need to replete them. And you need a source that will get sugar in quickly. Hard candy gets that done. <laughs> Blood sugar is gonna be like. 20 minutes after Marshawn's candy gorge, his blood sugar level has increased by nearly 55%. As sugar enters Marshawn's bloodstream, a chemical reaction called glycolysis occurs to produce ATP, the muscle's power source. Marshawn's increase in blood glucose can increase his short-term muscle ATP production by 35%. This energy boost could be one reason why Marshawn's grip strength increases by nearly 13%. His reaction time speeds up by 5%, and Marshawn navigates our agility poles nearly two-tenths of a second faster. That all adds up to beast mode. But hold on, don't go racing to the candy store just yet. Consuming too much sugar can cause the body to secrete a hormone called insulin. This pulls sugar out of the bloodstream and very quickly puts the beast to sleep. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus. Hey!